Namaste everyone, welcome to my channel named Gaurav Kumar Jain. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about how can we, uh, you know, move the database present on our local machine to Azure. How can we migrate it to Azure? So let's dive into the platform and check out the steps. So I need to first come on Azure and here we need to create a server, an SQL server. So you can search for it like this, just type server and it will show you the option for creating an SQL server. Okay, so I already have a server created here. Let me just show you its configuration, right? So it's very easy to create a server, right? You just have to define some uh, parameters and it will get created automatically with few clicks you can create it very easily so that's the one which i'm going to use migrate migrate let me show you its configuration also just give me a short moment i need to come on my desktop where i have saved its configuration yeah so that's the notepad file in which the configuration of migrate migrate is present so just check it out you can also use the same information which i am showing you right now over here so the resource group in which this this server is present is migrate sql server and the name of the server is migrate migrate right uh, the admin name is this and the password for logging into the server is this and then you know after creating the server i created we need to create a database so that we can you know move the data from our local machine into this space because we'll be needing a space also right so the database which i created is migrate database and it is there so why what you have to do you know while you are creating uh, the database you have to select the sql server you have created uh, you know as one of the parameters so that this database can be connected to that particular server right so this is what you have to just keep in mind while creating it okay so this is our uh, you know database configuration and that's the server name server name right with which we can connect this database to our uh, sql server management studio which is there on our local machine so let me just tell you about how can you do it so that's the database which I'm going to move to Azure. It's present on my local machine right now. I need to right click on it and it is going to, it, it has given me a cascading menu like this coming on tasks. Now here I uh, am getting this option, deploy database to Microsoft Azure SQL database. So let's use it. So, uh, a window like this you will get to see you need to now hit this connect option and here you have to put the name of the server which is this right so just copy it and paste it over here and in place of windows authentication now you have to choose sql server authentication and where you will get the login credentials from so while creating the server you know you will get to see a uh, uh, you know be a form in which you will have to mention the admin login credentials so that's the one which i defined while creating the server on azure right so these are my azure servers login credentials which i am inputting here let's see okay not allowed copy and paste is not allowed for this field let me enter it manually let's see whether i'll be able to connect it or not so if you are doing it for the first time maybe you will come across an error which i got to see when i logged in uh, into my azure account through this uh, my uh, you know sql management studio and i think this time also i will be uh, getting that same error i really want to see that error so that i can also show you how you can you know resolve that issue because for that uh, issue, I searched a couple of videos. I was not able to find the solution. But yes, now I have the solution and I would like to share that solution with you guys also. Just bear for, with me for a moment. It's uh, trying to pull the 
uh, Azure login page. Okay, here it is. Let me sign in into my official account. Within next couple of seconds, I'll be able to, uh, you know, it will help. Yeah, so it just turned into sign out. I have successfully signed in. Now, you know, automatically it has generated for me uh, this IP address over here. Let me see if I can connect with my okay so it's showing me this error right i was talking about this error only so how you will uh, resolve this issue so you need to go on your you need to come on your azure portal and here you'll see an option called set server firewall just click it and it will open for you a page where it will ask you to key in uh, the client ip address Okay, that's the page I was talking about. Now here we have to go down and uh, that's the one I, uh, you know, this is the option with which you can add your client IPv4 address. You just have to click it and then you can hit the save button. So successfully updated server firewall rules. Let me go back on SQL management studio. Now if I hit this okay button, I hope okay still i'm getting this error just a second i think uh, okay let me just cancel it and let me connect it again it should not give me this error yeah so it's working fine now you can see uh, the server's name is getting reflected over here that's the one which i created before this lecture just a second let me just show it to you so migrate migrate and it's getting reflected over here too so that's a re that's how you can uh, you know tackle that issue now let's hit this next button and it will redirect us to a page where we will get to see some more information so it's the summary page i think it will redirect us to It's going to take a bit of time yeah so this is our source that's the target and this is the environment and let's hit this finish button so you can see uh, my files will come very soon on this window you will get to see my files over here extracting schema extracting schema from database so right now uh, you know everything uh, is set right i have set everything and uh, what is happening at present my data is being extracted from my uh, local machine and very soon it will be migrated to azure right so just wait for a couple of minutes by the time the, this is happening let me just tell you about the courses which i am offering to the students right now so if you want to learn about Microsoft Azure, you want to become a Microsoft Azure trainer or developer. So you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected uh, on the, on your window. Besides that, if you want to learn Python, you know things related to artificial intelligence, machine learning, or you want to become a game developer, you want to learn things like Unity engine, you want to code mobile applications using react native you want to uh, become a website developer a full stack developer so for that definitely you can contact me on the number which is getting reflected on your screen if you are a beginner i would suggest you to first learn block based coding if you are in grade four five or six right uh, otherwise you can simply start with python Py why python because it's sim it's syntax is very simple to understand that is the reason to most of the students i recommend python uh, you know i don't uh, tell them to just go with java or c++ because yes it requires a bit of uh, you know hard work but if we talk about python in the beginning you don't uh, you don't have to struggle in understanding you know different types of concepts related to object oriented programming language when it comes to python so it's better if you will, uh, you know, proceed with Python, if you'll start with Python, definitely things and coding will become easier for you. And once you are able to understand 
the coding you know the words which we use in coding uh, the fear that is there inside your mind and inside your heart uh, you know once it is uh, not there definitely you can you will be able to understand each and every type of object oriented programming language so okay so once the extraction and everything will get completed automatically uh, you will get to see the sql database which you migrated to azure over here under this sql databases section right so that's the one which we just migrated right and let me just show you its uh, details so i did it earlier and right now so you know the process is happening you can see here but uh, it's going to take a bit of time so uh, you know i don't want to cover this section in this video where otherwise the length of the video will increase so it's good if i'll just show you this configuration and you know these are these are the details of the database which i moved on azure and this is the same one which i am trying right now over here okay so you know this is uh, these are some few basic steps that you can use for migrating a database you have on your local machine to azure so this is something that you cover in azure migration if you are delivering a lecture somewhere if you are if you want to tell students your teachers about uh, azure migration definitely that's one of the example that you can use for explaining them about the concept so this is it from my lecture my side in this video i hope you guys enjoyed it a lot uh, do not forget to like and share this video and also uh, you know was that was this video interesting or you know was that was it informative for you or not please do let me know about it in the comment section below thank you very much for joining me in uh, bye bye take care and have a great day